Hello. In this video, we're going to go through how to set up the grid world case study um, in jCreator. The grid world case study is a case study that's used in the AP Computer Science exam, and one of the reasons is there is to ensure the students have experience working with a larger um, program that consists of multiple classes. The first thing you have to do before you actually do the setup is you have to make sure you download the appropriate materials. Um, and you can find the appropriate zip file on the College Board website under the Computer Science A section, specifically the case study. Um, just a point, the Grid World case study replaces an older case study called the Marine Biology case study. Um, if you're preparing for the AP exam and you're looking at old exams, you might come across um, the AP Marine Biology case study. You can ignore that. It's only the Grid World case study at this point. So let's just scroll down here on this page. A couple things to point out. The code. This is what we're going to need. We're going to need to get some um, information from there. Specifically something called a jar file. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the student manual is really good. I always recommend to students just print out the student manual. It's really good to have it next to you so you can look at it and regularly refer to it. Um, and the narratives of individual files are essentially the student manual. Last thing is really important is the appendix guide. Again, print this out. Have this with you whenever you're working, if you, especially if you're preparing for the AP Computer Science exam, because that appendix is given to you in the exam. So that practice of having it in your hand and physically referencing it is a very good habit to get into. Okay, so I've downloaded this code, so why don't we jump into jCreator. I already have a workspace open. I call it Grid World RP1. For those of you who are my students watching this, again, I like to usually make workspaces based on topic and reporting period. Again, if you're in the grade 12 course, you have a little more flexibility in this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new project. Um, and it's going to be an empty Java project. Um, I'm going to call this Grid World Demo. Now in the past, we would click Finish here because we didn't require any additional libraries, but with the Grid World case study, there's a jar file we need to include. So we're going to click Next. And then up here, we're going to add what's called a required library. Now, the nice thing about jCreator is that this step I'm about to do here, you only have to do it once. Once you've done it once, this required library will always show up inside this box here. Um, a required library specifically is a jar file. A jar file is an executable file that consists of a number of class files. Um, in this case, these class files will deal with the grid world case study. So we're going to click New, um, and I'm going to add a new one. We're going to call this uh, Grid World. So this is the name that it will show up as. We're going to add, and we're going to add an archive. And now what I want to do is I want to navigate to where this is stored. And this is stored under Grid World Code, Grid World, and then I click OK. So there's my Grid World. I have to make sure I select that. And I can hit Next, but there's nothing in here I want to set up. And then I hit Finish. So now my project is set up. So once this is set up, let's add a file and make sure this is working properly. So I'm going to add. I'm going to add an existing file. Uh, again, I'm going to navigate to where this needs to go. We're going to go to Java Workspaces. Sorry, no, we're going to go to Grid World Code, pardon me. Um, we'll go to Projects, and we're going to go to the first project. And specifically, we're going to use the Bug Runner file. The convention that's been set up is that any Java program that has an, a main method in it is called Runner. This is not a requirement, but it's something they do just to enforce consistency. Consistency being a very important thing in a programmer's habits. So we're going to open this. I'm going to add this. Remember, the difference between add an external file is add will make a separate copy of that file. So if you change it, you still have your originals wherever it was stored. External file just makes a link to that file. So external files most generally speaking, unless you can come up with a rationale why you don't want to use an external file, because at this point, we always like to make a copy of the original file because in this case, we're going to modify it a number of times. So we're going to click Add. So now I expand my Grid World demo, go into Bug Runner, and let's build this. Oh. And now let's run this file. And if you've done this correctly, it should pop up like this. So again, just a quick orientation of how this works. We have three buttons along the bottom and a slider bar. We have a grid. Um, and the grid right now consists of a bug, 
uh, and a rock. We also have some a bar along the top, but we're not going to worry about that right now. The essential functionality of this is every time I hit step, each actor on the grid is going to take a behavior. So I'm clicking step here a number of times. If I want to simulate step being pressed numerous times, I can actually click the run button and then I can adjust how quickly it changes. So a little faster, you can go really fast, or you can go really slow. Stop stops the process. You can actually click on the grid and add things. So if I click here, I can add things like I can add an actor. There's an actor. I can add a flower. I can add a rock. If I then go and click on the, the actor, I can then do different things. I can I can change the color. Let's set the color and we're going to set the color of this actor to oh well, it's already blue. Let's make it there we go. So now change the color of this actor. And we step through this again. Again, initially what I recommend you do is play around with the functionality of this, get a feel for it, get comfortable with it, and we're going to go and explore this grid world case study and do some pretty interesting things. I hope this helped.